Heart failure is when the heart is unable to pump effectively, called systolic heart failure, or unable to fill properly, called diastolic heart failure. In both cases, blood output is reduced. Ejection fraction is reduced in systolic heart failure, but typically preserved in diastolic heart failure. The pathophysiology of heart failure involves a vicious cycle in which reduced cardiac output, as a compensatory response, activates the renin-angiotensin-aldosterone system, RAS, and sympathetic system. However, these systems cause vasoconstriction, increase heart rate and blood pressure, making it even harder for the heart to pump. Increased aldosterone level also promotes ventricular remodeling, myocardial scarring, and vascular injury, worsening the disease. On the other hand, the natriuretic peptide system is also activated. This system is protective to the heart. It promotes vasodilation, sodium and water excretion, and inhibits cardiac remodeling. Most drugs used in heart failure therapy aim to inhibit RAS and sympathetic activities and or promote the natriuretic system. Other drugs increase ventricular contractility or reduce water retention, a major heart failure symptom. First-line therapy for patients with reduced ejection fraction typically includes an angiotensin-converting enzyme, ACE inhibitor, and a beta blocker. ACE inhibitors block the conversion of angiotensin 1 to angiotensin 2 in RAS, thereby inhibiting RAS activity. Common side effects include dry cough, headache, and hypotension. Rarely, ACE inhibitors may cause a swelling reaction known as angioedema. Angiotensin receptor blockers, ARBs, inhibit the effect of angiotensin II. Their mechanism of action is similar to that of ACE inhibitors, but they do not usually cause a cough. However, they are less effective and are typically used in patients who cannot tolerate ACE inhibitors. Beta blockers decrease heart rate by binding to beta-1 adrenergic receptor in the heart and blocking the sympathetic influences that act through these receptors. Common side effects are those of hypotension. Rarer but more severe adverse events include bradycardia and AV blocks. Vasodilators reduce blood pressure and are usually used for patients who cannot tolerate ACE inhibitors or ARBs. Side effects include nausea, palpitations, joint pain, and rash. Diuretics are often prescribed to relieve fluid retention. Loop diuretics are most powerful and typically used for most patients. Thiazides are less effective, but they also have a vasodilation effect and are thus preferred for patients with hypertension, but only mild fluid retention. Major side effects include electrolyte imbalances, metabolic alkalosis, and hypovolemia. Aldosterone receptor antagonists block the action of aldosterone. Because aldosterone's primary function is to promote sodium and water retention and potassium excretion, aldosterone antagonists act as potassium-sparing diuretics. However, their effect in heart failure treatment is also attributed to the inhibition of aldosterone's damaging impact on the heart and blood vessels. Major adverse effects include hyperkalemia and impaired kidney function. Digoxin increases cardiac contractility by inhibiting the sodium-potassium pump causing intracellular sodium concentration to rise. This then leads to higher levels of intracellular calcium via the action of sodium-calcium exchanger. Higher calcium results in increased muscle contraction. Digoxin also decreases sympathetic activities, slowing down heart rate. However, due to its many adverse effects, it is normally used only for patients who do not improve with other medications. Evabradine slows the heart rate by inhibiting the funny channel responsible for spontaneous firing of the SA node. Adverse effects include bradycardia, atrial fibrillation, and vision problems. Evabradine should be avoided in patients with a low resting heart rate, low blood pressure, and certain heart conditions. ARNIs are a new class of medications. ARNI therapy consists of a neprilysin inhibitor and an ARB. Neprilysin is an enzyme that breaks down a number of peptides, among which are natriuretic peptides. Inhibition of neprilysin promotes the natriuretic system. However, neprilysin also cleaves angiotensin II, 
so inhibition of neprilysin would activate RAS. Thus, an ARB is added to prevent RAS activation. Major reactions include hypotension, hyperkalemia, and renal failure. ARNIs are used in patients who do not respond to ACE inhibitors and beta blockers.